Johnny Cash. I called him JR. He was JR to me. That's what his mom and daddy called him. We wound up being next door neighbors. Connie and I lived next door to John and June. The day after June passed away, John Carter Cash, John's son, called me and said, Daddy wants to record. I said, that's the best news I've heard. Let's go, wherever. So just to keep him engaged, we did sessions at Cash Cabin over there, which a lot of those American recordings that we did. Sessions at his home. We did a session at my home. We did a session across the street at his, John's mom and dad's old house. And so four days before he passed away, I thought, I need to go see JR before I go on the road. I was going on the road. And I went by and saw him, and I happened to have my bag with me, and I had my camera in it. And I had just been to Folsom Prison and been toured through Folsom Prison. And I had started a song, uh, and I wanted to see where they made that record. And it was at the cafeteria at Folsom Prison. But the place that really got me was, it was there was a space in, in the prison that used to be the hanging gallows where they would execute people but it was now the prison band hall. And the Folsom prison bands shared a common set of instruments. Well, like Monday was the day the rock band played, Tuesday was the day the you know, soul band played or rap band. But the day I walked in there, the country band was playing. So we played the Whiskey Ain't Working Anymore and the Mama Tried and Folsom Prison Blues. Pretty poignant. Uh, on the way home, it just kind of got bigger than life all of a sudden on the plane, so I thought, the Hanging Gallows is where they're playing music now. And I thought, well, what would it be like to be a hangman, to kill people for a living? What do you do? Go home at night and tell my, your wife, honey, I did a great job today. You got three guys, you know? So I started this song, and it went, uh, I killed another man today. It's hard to believe. Well, I lost count at 30, and I've grown too numb to grieve. The bottle helps me cope. When I lay down at night And when the dope rolls through my veins It all fades out of sight Hangman, hangman That's my stock and trade Hangman, hangman Sending bad men to their graves And that's all I had And I was sitting on the floor telling John this story about my experience And I said, I wrote this song and I got it that far and from his wheelchair, he, wrote, he spoke up and said, who killed who, I asked myself, time and time again, God have mercy on the soul of this hangman. And five minutes later, we had the second verse. So four days before he passed away, we wrote a song, which was his last one. And he was sitting there in the light, the afternoon light from the lake was touching him on his back. And I said, "Jr., let me take a picture. And he said, okay. And I, they shot three frames, and the first two, he looked like a little old man. I said, JR. And he sat up straight, and he pulled that collar. He became John R. Cash, and I got the picture. So on the way out of the door, when it was over, I said, and I played him a song of his that I just recorded called The Walls of a Prison. And he said, I never heard you sing that way before. I said, I never felt that way before. He said, excellent, my son. And before I left the room, he said, is there anything in this room you want? And I said, just your love. He said, you got it.